and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. So we're supposed to talk with those um, with those people in that school club or something about that little um, about that little urban legend. To hear to hear of it a curse, to see it even worse. The depths of Shibuya, it's where we all must cross. When you feel alone, down you must go. When you feel low, down you must go. Oh jeez, that's dark. At the bottom lies a secret hidden world, but woe to thee who finds the entrance there. For if you make it, you only meet despair. You only meet despair. Wow, that was interesting. You have to see that while heading toward the center of the Shibuya Scramble intersection for the Legend of Shibuya Hirosaka to work. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So I guess we could just uh, head outside and uh, I guess uh, do that little urban what? Oh, hold on. We need to speak to this guy. Shibuya is filled to the brim with hills no matter where you look. There's Konosaka, Masaka, Organzaka. Really, you could say that Shibuya is like the valley for all of Tokyo, and I don't mean just geographically either. There's just so much information and energy that flows into it from all sides. Mei thinks that's why Shibuya is so popular to begin with. Okay, uh, thanks pal. Alright, so let's go and get this squared away. Alright. There we go, the Shibuya, uh... Scramble, right? Was the was someone supposed to meet me here, or oh, hold on, oh, hold on, I think I need to go to um go to Kyoko's office in order to get the quest squared away. Okay, hold on, let's go back to Nakano. At least I'd hope so. Let's see, um, let's see where it takes us. Yeah, I think I was right. Or right, hold on, that's a different. Hold on, you know I'll just take this on. I'll just take this case on. Oh, hold on, I can't take it on. All right. Oh, talk with all the uh, occult members, I think. Okay, so that's two of them nailed down. Now, if there's any more of them, yeah, this area um, still confuses me. Okay, let's spin it. Nice. Okay, want to go check upstairs? All right, let's go. Let's go check upstairs. Okay, then, um, I don't know why I talked to that guy. Real stupid of me. Oh, wait, hold on, she has an exclamation mark. There are five specific kills you have to use for Shibuya Hirosaka. Dogenzaka, uh, Bunka Muradori, Koandori, Miyamasu Zaka, and Meiji Dori. If you look at them on a map, they even form a pentagram. Ooh! God, man, this is... <laughs> oh, man, are we doing a satanic ritual or something? God! <laughs> What do you mean you don't see that? Okay. I guess they want me to try and piece together everything um, by talking to these guys. So I guess it's one person per floor, I guess? If my theory rules out. Why am I wearing this maid outfit? Because I have to get back to work once we're done here. I came here because May really needed enough people to help out, but I can't say I'm otherwise super eager about the whole thing. I mean, there was an actual girl who died doing this, you know? Did she get run over? Apparently she was doing everything you do for Shibuya here, Saka. Uh, I was right, and got hit by a truck right when she started crossing the street. That was her fault, man. That, that was her fault. I'm sorry. I mean, like you don't cross a busy intersection like that, and that's just stupid, okay? I mean, like in DC, you, um, you'll people will like blare their horns at you before they run run you over <laughs> just for doing that. <laughs> okay. But woe to thee who finds the entrance there, for if you make it... Alright, I've got everything all set up. Get all of the club members together and take them over to Shibuya. I'll be giving commands from here. Meanwhile, I want you to join in and help perform the Shibuya Hirosaka as one of the five people. Oh man, even the music's changing. Oh god. Can, anyone, can everyone hear me? We're going. We're now going to commence the verify. 
Commence verifying the legend of Shibuya Hirosaka. I've hacked into the cameras at the scramble intersection. I'll be watching you all from here and giving you commands as necessary. Oh great, are we are we gonna summon Satan? Are, are we gonna summon the Baphomet? <laughs> you know that goat demon. Keep your eyes and ears peeled and be ready for anything. Now let's get started. To hear it, to hear it. Oh, she's saying that she's doing the little lyrics thing. The depths of Shipuya is where we must all cross. You're doing great. Keep up at keep up that pace. Lily, I need you to speed up a little more. When you feel alone, down you must go. When you feel low, down you must go. What about me? What, what part do I play in this? Good, good. You're you're all about to reach the scramble crossing. The traffic lights should cooperate too. That being said, just in case, I went in and rigged it in, in our favor too. So just go ahead and cross. At the bot. Hey, I actually. Wow, I'm not a silent protagonist anymore. I went and said at least two full sentences. Well, yay me. At the bottom lies a secret hidden world, but woe to thee who finds the entrance there. For if you make it, you only meet despair. You only meet despair. Well, how'd it go? We did it. We all made it here at the same time. Yeah, I guess we did, huh? Yeah, without a doubt. Um... What was that? Do you guys hear that? Oh my god, everyone disappeared. What what in the world? No, everyone and everything on the street disappeared. I mean, like from cars to civilians. What's going on? Detective, are you there? Okay, she's trying to make contact with the uh, with Kyoko. Hold on, someone's across the street. I see I see her now. I couldn't I couldn't see her before. Why doesn't anyone pay attention to me? Or maybe they actually do notice me. What in the world? Oh, there she is. I, f I found her. I was uh Hold on, why is there an invisible wall? I mean, what's the point of putting a, uh, an NPC over there and you're just going to put an invisible wall in front of me? I can't live here anymore. I can't live and be here anymore. Okay, so she's going to... I think she's appearing... Um, I think she's going to appear um, anywhere that's parallel to... Um, to anyone... I mean, to, to, where the, to the point where everyone is standing, like that little pentagram formation. Or maybe she's not. She's appearing at random. So I'll... Whoa, who are you? How long have you been there? I'll die and remain here. Here at the bottom of Shibuya and the other world. She vanished? Oh my god. Okay then. Oh, fuck, fuck that, dude. Fuck that, man. I mean... <laughs> After, if you have me working a case where a girl is teleporting behind everyone, I'm done, man. I, I, you don't pay me enough for this. Where did you come from? Oh my god, she's... Did she duplicate herself? What am I seeing? Uh, my thoughts exactly. What's going on? Come in. Oh, it's Kyoko. Thank goodness. Look out. Oh! <gasps> If we didn't hear your voice, Nat. Oh my god, dude. Are you alright? What happened? Fill me in. What was that? And now everything's back to normal? What's going on here? I mean, what's happening here? We owe Detective Ma Matayoshi a lot for helping out again. Not only did she re um, restore calm, but he also... I mean, did he restore calm, but he also took the driver in for questioning. Apparently that driver didn't see any of you until right before you were all nearly hit. But here's where it gets strange. The crowd in the intersection saw you all the whole time, but nobody responded to their warnings. It's like you guys couldn't see or hear anything that was going on around you. Actually, that's how it was. We didn't know there were still other people until uh, around until your assistant spoke up. 
And this girl, and would this girl happen to be that high school student you saw there? It is. That's her. Yes, definitely. She's one of us for sure. Well, that settles it. What do you mean? Who is she? She was a high school girl who was killed three months ago in an accident at the Scrambled Crossing intersection. She died in an accident? For real? Yep, she was even hit by a truck. But that doesn't make any sense. We saw her with our own eyes in front of us. She came back to life. Don't you guys, don't you remember? That's how the legend of Shibuya Hirosaka goes. So you saw five back there. So what you five saw back there was the dead brought back into life. I'm sorry, I can't read. I can never read during these videos. I did a little research. Shibuya today is a valley that was cut off from the Shibuya, from Shibuya River, which itself now runs under the Scramble intersection. Rivers are a common border in myths and religions between this world and the next. There's the Sanzu River in Japan, the river Styx in Greece. I'd say you guys uh, got caught up in one such place today. There are a lot of names you can call it, but the end result remains the same. Anyway, this case is closed. We set out to prove Shibuya Hirosaka and we, is real and we did. You're just going to leave that girl alone? Is that what you want to ask? You may be confused about our role. Don't forget, we're not ghost hunters and we're not exorcists. That's not what we do. We're cyber sleuths. No more and no less. I would appreciate it if you remember that from now on. Stay safe on your way home. Don't get into, ac don't get into any accidents for real now. What the hell, dude? That was... That was scary. Well, the case is over and done with for now, although I don't, I, I know you didn't get a chance to really use your powers, but I figured that if you had used them in front of those kids, that would have spawned another urban legend. If I kill everyone, that'll make me lucky. And if everyone dies, that'll make me happy. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, let's report back, and let's do, uh, let's take on Mirai's case. Hey, sleuth rank went up. Apprentice sleuth, um, do I get anything out of it? Like, any benefits, or... Nothing? Great to see you pulled through with that case. Keep up, um, the good work going forward. Alright, before that... I don't log into Eden much. I've heard that, v that the view from the entrance is impressive, though. Go see it and tell me what you think. Before we go and do that, we're going to take on that little side quest for Mire. This is very urgent. They're malicious hackers. Will you teach them a lesson? Alright. We've got another case for Mire. Alright, so let's go to that little telephone booth. Alright. Uh, Mire. Were you surprised to get a sudden case from me? My apologies for that. However, it has to do with the blacklisted hackers we discussed earlier. Some unusual hackers- Lesh, stop it. Stop it, Lesh. Sorry, that was, that was my cat. Some unusual hackers have appeared in Eden. These ones don't belong to any of the, of the major hacker groups, but what makes them unusual is that, rather than being alone, these three are always together. And with those greater numbers comes greater trouble for people in Digimon alike. What they do is pretty standard hacker fare, but we can't ignore that this is a group of them either. I mean, this is a group of them either. I'm, I can never read during these sections. I don't know why. Left unchecked, they could grow very well. If we don't nip this in the bud before they form into a proper hacking team, that could well spell trouble if you try dealing with them later, no? That's why I sent this case as an urgent one. I need you to hurry up and take care of them before they can multiply. They should all be hanging around somewhere on Kowloon Level 1. Given their numbers, make sure you're prepared to take them on. Regardless, best of luck out there. Go give them what you have coming. I mean, what they have coming. Alright. Before I do that, I want to see what I can and can do with... I mean, can and can't do with my, uh, Digimon. Alright. Ah, uh, I need to grind them a bit. Alright. Let's go to, um, let's go to Kowloon again. Alright. And that's Zaxxon. Alright, she said they're on Kowloon level 1. I think that might be a hacker over there. 
Let's go see and find out. Oh. Okay, he's not one of them. So we need to we need to move forward in, within Kowloon and see what's going on. So far, nothing. Hold on. All right, Just turning my phone on uh, on to vibrate. So yeah. Uh, let's do a little bit more dungeon crawling. Well, if you can't call it dungeon crawling. I mean, like, the map's not materializing, um, as we walk, but hey. What do I know? Back attack. Alright, first one's down. You know, it'll be a while before I actually go and encounter one of the hackers. Oh, or you know what? Yeah, let's zoom out. Yeah, it'll be a while. Found him! Alright, let's get this show on the road. Who the hell are you? You're here to stop our hacking? I get it now. See what you're up to. You're one of those self-styled good guys who likes running around eating, picking fights with big bad, with big bad, uh, big bad old hackers like me, huh? And now you've come to take us on. Eden's legendary three scammers, am I right? That's not a good name to call, to label yourself under. I'm sorry. All right. Youngest of the three siblings. I target dumb young gamers playing free-to-play games, using my Digimon to sell them counterfeit, item, uh, counterfeit items, and it's made me a real fortune. So hurry up and rack up your parents' credit card bills already. Wow, that's that's a bit fucked up what he's doing. All right. All right, is there a move I can use that can target both of them? I would think not. Let's just go... Well, they're weak Digimon. Why am I even... Oh. I forgot it does damage to him. To, to, to himself. So, yeah. I've spent, like, five minutes running around, uh... I spent like five minutes running around uh, Kowloon looking for these, um, for at least one of these guys, and uh, finally ran into him. And I believe that you have to, from the looks of it, I think you have to beat them in order. I mean, this guy, I, when I was over here, this guy was, look at this, this guy, he was not here before. So I think you have to fight him in order. And There we go. All right, let's talk to this guy. Wow, he contacted you? Uh-oh. You, you've beaten Takashi. Of the three scammers, Takashi was the one who did the operational heavy lifting. If he's down for good, I'll have to step in. I'm Mamoru, the middle child of the three brothers. I sell elderly people in effect. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That is... F that's messed up, dude. I'm sorry. Let's teach this guy a lesson, too. Okay. He's weak. I guess you could say that I overleveled myself. Okay. Now, the third one is on... He has to be down here on level 1. Because um, Mirei um, specifically said that all of them are on the first level of Kowloon. So there's no other reason to think that he would not be on here. Unless he was like a secret boss or something. That, that would be fucking stupid. Getting real tired of these guys. Excuse me? There we go. That's better. Getting real tired of these guys, though. Alright. Alright, this is the last guy. Then we can move on to, um, move on to something that's more important. Alright. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a gray area. 
I'm proud of who I am. But the system... Sometimes I go male, sometimes... Oh! Oh, you're one of those people. From Tumblr. Alright, let's... All right, let's beat the crap out of this guy. I've, I've no, I've got more important things to do other than this. All right. Hold on, did that cross combo not land? I didn't hear any impact while I was looking away from the screen. Is that status effect? Good job. Alright, now let's focus on more important stuff, because... Yeah. Alright, but... Alright, I'm going to uh, cut to me... I'm going to cut to myself uh, getting to... I mean, at Mirei's office, because I'm not spending like a whole 15 minutes sh uh, filming myself going back there. And I'm back at the Kermi Detective Agency. And I don't know if I did something wrong here, but... Or maybe I didn't defeat the amount of ha the right amount of hackers, but... the But for that reason alone, well, because I didn't want to waste too much time, I suspended the case. But but I'll actually complete it off-screen. So, um... So, Kyoko wants me to go and, uh, go through the entrance of Eden. And there's someone up there that needs our help, I guess. So let's go and see. Oh wow, two wow, two parents. Hey. Wasn't this here earlier? Anonymous post on my Digiline. Stop looking at me. Is it that dead girl? Well, she's alive, I guess. We got another case from the occult club. This one looks personal though. I think those guys might have taken a, a liking to us, given that we we deal in the strange and unusual in our line of work, and in doing so, they're inviting yet more strange, unusual things into our lives. Starting with themselves, really. Okay, then. Uh, I guess I go back to the Kurumi Detective Agency. Um, hey, wasn't this here before? Oh, it's metal. Uh, what's at the shop? Oh, alright, capsules. Buy one for a few thousand yen. Okay. There we go. I, I believe we're supposed to head back to the Kurdmi Detective Agency. Log out, please. There you are. What? Oh, there's the case. Okay. Without me doing anything. Okay, yeah, that's the one. Din, din, din. Nice to meet you again, Minaka. I mean, Manaka. What brings you here by yourself? I think I might be caught up in a cybercrime. Cybercrime? Did you go to the police? I can't really. There are some supernatural elements involved. I understand. You made the right choice coming to us. Alright, give us all the details. Okay, take a look at this. It's on. It's my log on the Digiline. Let's see what you've got. Should I go to my club tomorrow? Oh, this is her Digiline. They claim they do research, but all they do really do is hang out and talk. It's only a club because everyone has similar interests. I should probably enroll in something a little more serious and go to that, too. And I could really use a hot manly boyfriend, too. Oh my gosh, did I just write that? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> What's so special about this? Keep going. You'll understand why. Could Kenji have a crush on me? LOL, no way. She has a one-track mind. She can't think of anything else but occult stuff. Does that guy even have his eyes on straight? He's such an ass. He has a real, I mean, he has a real hottie right in front of him, and he can't take his eyes off of May for one second even to notice it. Maybe I should seduce him, hee hee hee. I mean, I've got the goods, I'd give him a peek, and he, okay. 
<laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> I'm acting all surprised and shit. How do I put this? Your posts aren't pulling any punches here. Putting my personal opinion aside, I don't see anything wrong with them. They look normal to me. The thing is, I didn't write that stuff. What? They just randomly showed up, but they freaked me out so badly that I deleted them. I hear you, but doesn't that mean your, your account was probably hacked? Some two-bit hacker probably did it to screw with you, or maybe your computer was infected with... No, it's nothing like that. Did I take it that this is where that supernatural part you mentioned factors into these posts? Yeah. I wasn't the one who wrote those posts and put them online, but they are how I feel. What you see, what you see there, that stuff that I think about, but don't express out loud. Uh-oh, it's the shadow self. <laughs> I'm the shadow, the true, <laughs> the true form. Okay, I get you. It's stuff that's hard to share with any of the other members. Right. So seeing as you're in an occult club, I'm sure you know about Ouija boards and whatnot, right? Your hands move against your will, sending you messages uh, from the spirit world. Something like that could very possibly be happening to you. Looking at the post uh, post times on your uh, log, those messages went out in the dead of night. Goodness. You should have long been sound asleep by that point. Okay, then what? In the late 1800s, there was an academic by the name of Enrio Inoue who posted these sorts of... Who po pos um, posited these sorts of things that can come from having multiple selves. Enrio uh, Inoue, you mean the man who came up with mystery studies, right? I've shown off his work at the club before. Hold on, are you saying that I have a split personality? The politically correct term for what for that would be for that would be dissociate dissociative identity disorder. Actually, I guess it makes sense if I'm writing those posts at night without realizing it, but that would explain it. But maybe it really is that. I've honestly been worried that it might be deep down. But no, that's not it. This isn't because of some mental issue. Look at this. Just try and find me. This was how now this was just now posted onto your account. It's a reply to what I wrote on your Digiline. It's to the culprit. I'm a detective who's taken out Manaka's case. Know that we will track you down and uncover your identity, no matter who or where you are. You can't hide forever. You've been warned. Oh damn, she means business too. Well, the conversation unfolded online as you and I were talking while you weren't touching any terminals. That means you're not the one behind those posts, let alone any mental disorder of yours. The real culprit is out there somewhere. Whoever is behind it is just a dumb troll, albeit an arrogant one at that. To quote Enrio Inoue's work again, what we've got is a case of a fake wonder, someone trying to make this look more mystical than it really is. In other words, this is plain old hacking. You said that the contents of these posts are based on actual facts about yourself, yes? Well, I don't know about facts so much as just how I think and feel, really. You were, were you logged into Eden before you fell asleep? Yes, I do that every night. Gotcha. Then the way I see it, I bet the culprit's been snooping around and hacked into your memory data in Eden. You can do that sort of thing in Eden? Well, well not literally. At least not when you're lone wolfing it like your hacker here. Still, avatars in Eden are essentially digitized versions of people's mental data, so to speak, and so memory data hacks are theor theoretically doable. Things take a bit of a different turn once the so-called supernatural enters the equation. Don't sweat it. For now, just log into Eden tonight like you normally would. I'll have my assistant waiting for you in the lobby. Alright, but what do you actually plan on doing? Oh, let's just say we're going fox hunting and our decoy will be... Our Widow Maiden's Deep Dark Secrets. Damn. Looks like Minaka's not here yet. Here's hoping this isn't a sign of what's to come. Oh, I had Minaka lay down our decoy. If the culprit's the type of person I suspect they are, they'll definitely go for it. That means it's a pretty safe guess to say that they're going to log into Eden tonight. Once they're in position, it's just a matter of apprehending them. But that shouldn't be a problem either. Because Pete's going to be working with us. Aww. <laughs> Long time no see. Thanks again for what you did back there with the AC stuff. I had Pete take. Um, I had Pete here take a look at those posts by the hacker wrote that the, the hacker wrote so she could learn their sense. Sorry about that. I can't speak. Yep. Turns out those messages had traces of a Digimon on them. Can't fool me. I'll let you know when the bad guy's close by. You can count on me and my nose. 
But of course, that's why I brought you on board. This is so cool, working with a real-life detective. I feel like a real Boy Wonder here. You don't know who Boy Wonder is? Hey, I'm here. Sorry to keep you waiting. I did just I did just like you asked him post the message on my DigiLine, but am I really going to be okay doing that? You're curious what she wrote, aren't you? It's fine, I'll tell you. She confessed her love to the hacker and also mentioned that she really wanted to meet him. Oh no. It's a real blatant ploy on our part, but again, this guy thinks his hacking skills are hot stuff. He's going to want to verify Monaka's claim, preferably by checking her memories directly. Hacking memory data takes some work, though, even to just take a look inside it. It'll require actually di uh, directly reaching out and making contact with their avatar. That's the only way he could have done this. He had to have been touching her somehow in order to do the attacks. I mean, the hacks. What's more, messing around with someone's mental data would take going in, would take going into the core of Eden itself. The security there is supposed to be tight as can be. It'd take real effort to break in. The hacker behind Monaka's messages would have therefore had to be touching her for at least several minutes before leaving his handiwork. I smell him. He's close by. Good. It's time to go hunting. Go investigate the surrounding area and get this person out of his foxhole. Okay, let's do it. Alright, so let's assume that everyone... Oh, hold on. There's no one here. Uh-oh. Yeah, no one's here. Alright, she said the surrounding area. Hold on. Okay. That's not good. Hold on, what about that little spot nearby? Right in front of you. Hurry up and do a scan. Yes, we've got you now, Buster. You're not going anywhere. For real? How'd you find me? I knew it. The culprit's a little kid. <laughs> the fact that she knew it. <laughs> Don't call me a little kid. That's rude. Wait a minute. You're the one who spotted me bef here before, aren't you? Crap, how'd you notice me? You're not supposed to be able to see me at all. Oh, so that's what happened, huh? My little assistant is so sensitive to the digital waves and special networks, the culprit didn't stand a chance of hiding forever. He's a cyber sleuth. It comes with the job. But enough of that, we've got questions for you. Does that make you a detective too? Whoa, you're so hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Just answer my directions already. Who are you and how did you achieve such a complicated... I'm what you'd call a genius architect. I'm not some lowly hacker or programmer. Do you know about the Baku Reborn service? It's a special service here on Eden. In cases like where a user either permanently leaves Eden or they die, the Baku Reborn service gathers all that user's data and deletes it. And I'm the one who runs it. You don't have to act so surprised. Kids are just more attuned to the digital world than adults. I just studied on my own and joined groups that I could trade info with, and soon enough, I started working in corporate R&D. Oh, but the reason I'm considered a genius isn't just because I run that service. I'm also the one who designed it. Oh, nice. Actually, what I said about Baku gathering and deleting abandoned users' data is entirely accurate. It actually does more. Not only does it gather and accumulate data pertaining to a given account, it also organizes it almost like it has a mind of its own. To be honest, even I'm surprised by that. I never expected it to act so pre precisely and deliberately. It's a real case of the creation surpassing the creator, but that's how it's supposed to be with these sorts of things, no? I follow you, Baku Reborn Service. Tell me, does the name Baku refer to the mythological creature that consumes nightmares? You've got it. I named it that because data we don't want to show online is very much its own sort of nightmare. And by using that Baku on yourself, you could... you could... Alright, I'm onto what you did now. You handled your avatar's surface level appearance over to your Baku and let it consume it. That way nobody around you would be able to know that you were working. But you didn't let it purge that data outright. You controlled it yourself, making it hand, hand it back like a dog returning prey to a hunter. Wow, you figured it all out. Yep, you got me. That's me. Oh, I hit the X button. I'm basically, um, use. I'm basically. I'm guessing you basically used that same trick to draw out Monaka's mental data, huh? Yeah, I copied it, but I only did that with her short term memory. The stuff you'd find around a person's hippocampus inside a real brain. Even something as advanced as Baku can't break into a person's memory within active mental data. That would definitely be crossing the line, and I understand why that's bad. 
I'll hand over what I copied to your partner, given the apparent interest it sparked. It really is like a Baku, isn't it? I think more or less... I think I have more or less a uh, grasp of the situation right now. I am... I am that I am not. I might... I think that might be the best way to describe what your partner is to this world, if you catch my drift. You know, I was thinking the same thing. Genius or not, I can't purposefully go out and architect life itself. That thing was probably born as such by pure chance. I have no idea how it'll it'll end up growing moving forward. Certainly, at the very least, I have a feeling I'll lose control of it eventually. You really are smart. I don't just mean you know a lot either. There's a sharpness to your wor words that I admire. Can I trust you to let me deal with the Baku? Do you plan on disposing it? We'll see. Depends on how things go. I trust your judgment. You'll find it uploaded onto a site. The password lock for it is lifted. The rest, I'll leave it up to you. Whoa, this little kid? He's the culprit? I'd, I'd have never guessed it would be someone so young. Well, you see... Huh? Why did I do what I did with her account? Who cares at this stage? I won't do it again, and I promise to even apologize for it later. I'll even give her some consolation money, so just leave me alone. You know, I just remembered. We met here in Eden before, haven't we? We talked a little bit while I was waiting to meet up with a friend, right? So why did you do all that mean stuff? You're so smart, you shouldn't be out committing crimes. You're right, I'm sorry. That's what I was hoping to hear. You're a good kid at Kahart. <sighs> what are you staring at? I did it, alright. I apologized. Let's call it good, shall we? You still have work to do. I'm sending you the URL of the Baku Reborn service now. We're going to resume our hunt now. Only our goal here is to capture rather than kill our target. Manaka, I want you to go back. It's too dangerous for you to stick around. My assistant will take care of everything from here. Alright, I'm counting on you. We don't know how our prey is going to react once we get there, so we better be so you better be prepared for anything before we go. Okay then. Alright, I'm gonna go and take five real quick. Okay, so I didn't catch this on video because um, it totally slipped my mind to start recording, but I would assume that this is the uh, boss Digimon. Oh hey, it looks like that one um, that one monster from that Yu-Gi-Oh card. I forgot what his name was. I think it was that it was a clock or something. I really don't remember the name of it. From the look of it, that kid's pro program had merged with a wild Digimon, and he's speaking gibberish, gibberish. No, no use trying to reason here. The programs erased whatever traces were left of that Digimon's own sen sentience. Digimon are easily susceptible to influence from man-made programs. One, it's one of the reasons why some don't consider them to be autonomous beings with their own sense of will. There's no getting around this one. You're going to have to knock some sense into it. Alright, let's begin. Alright. Oh no, I hit the wrong button. I was trying to use a buff. Oh no, why does he have to be asleep? Hold on. I don't want to waste a turn for this. I mean, a turn for this. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Alright. Who's the lowest intelligence? Huh. Can I view their stats during battle? Alright, let's try Heaven's Thunder. That doesn't work. Okay, hold on. Can Bergeron? I want to see if Bergeron can, uh... Oh, no, no, no! Uh, yeah, revert the change, okay. Let's go with Destruction Cannon. Whoa! Dude, that annihilated him! It only I only needed to give him a few hits and then... And then use Destruction Cannon. That annihilated him, dude. Now that's over. Download the data and, con and collect what's left of Baku. Once you're done, get out of there and come back to the office. It's hard to believe that such a little kid would do a heinous crime like that. I'm still shocked. Heinous? I guess I see where you're coming from. Even if he didn't mean any harm by it, what he did certainly broke the law. But that that's all in the past, and we've exercised your account of that little stalker that haunted it. The case isn't closed now. 
We'll be holding on to the Baku program in the meantime. If we can tune it up a bit, it could very well come in handy. But I don't get it. Why did he go after me in the first place? Sigh. Do neither of you get why that boy picked, um, picked on her? In a way, there really was no reason at all. Except to say that he, it was love at first sight. He really liked you, Manaka. Huh? At first, he probably just wanted to get to know, know you more with all his heart. But as he saw, he was less mature than he'd like to admit. He wanted to tease and mess with you so you'd pay attention to him. At his age, it's, pretty, it's a pretty standard mentality towards someone you like, really. That was fun! Well, let me help out again if something comes up, okay? I think it'd be pretty cool to be a Detective Cat Digimon like that. You definitely help, helped us out back there, so you have my thanks, Pete. Anyway, are you still not able to actually leave the confines of Nakano Broadway's internet? Yeah, I think it has to do with how old the network protocols for the internet are. It's hard for it's. It makes it hard to transfer data around. It could be I'm just struck. Uh, I'm just stuck to the vacuum tube computer, like how Baku was to that Digimon. There's still much to learn about what Pete truly is. It seems. Huh? Why do we call Pete Pete? Well, he's a cat. He was extracted from his own little time capsule where he was frozen asleep all that time. Besides, open enough doors and you're bound to. Do you really need a reason for it? Unlike the digital world, the real world is filled to the brim with things that have no real reason for being what they are. It's a simple pleasure in life that we're entitled to have as humans. Don't sweat it too much. Just kick back and enjoy it. She's right, you know. Alright. Can we say case closed? Yep. Case closed. Pete's an important member of the team, so make sure you two get along, alright? Come to think of it, we're out of beans. Pick up some more, would you? I used them all up crafting a new recipe. Alright guys, I'm going to, uh... I think that's about it for today. Now, we had we had fun, although there w although one part of the, um... Although one part of the playthrough was kind of text-heavy, I hated that. But, hey. So, yep, see you in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed everything.